As a worship leader, I've been asked many times if it's okay to listen to or play secular music. And my response is to refer them to the Song of Solomon. Right in the middle of the Bible itself is a love song between a king and his bride. It stands as a shining example of how God has wired us both men and women to enjoy and seek out a wife or husband, one that we find attractive and beautiful inside and out. I firmly believe that God gave us this desire to love and be loved in this way, to show us, in a way that words may fail, how Christ loves us. Matter of fact, the way Jesus described his love for the church was to compare it to a marriage relationship. And since there's no way to fully explain this love with mere words, scriptures call it a great mystery. Proverbs 30 says that the way a man loves a woman is too amazing to understand. And in Ephesians 5.31, Paul wrote, As the scriptures say, a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife, and the two are united into one. This is a great mystery, but it's an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. Another thing Jesus says about the church is that we were chosen. He chose to give his life for us. Colossians 3.12 says that we were chosen to be his holy people. And in this love story, Solomon makes that same declaration to his bride in verse 8. Even among 60 queens and 80 concubines and countless young women, I would still choose my dove, my perfect one. 